so next we are going to see the substring so substring is that uh, you want part of the string and you can mention what is the starting point and what is the uh, how many letters you want for example I can write select substring then the string what are the first four letters and I should have done this I keep forgetting here and comma you say what is the starting point I'm gonna go with one sorry one comma how many letters four so that's what I want let's see if I get it just right execute and I got the what that's what my intention was so for example now I want seven let's see what I get starting point is still the first that is at here and now but now I want the seven letters let's execute it you can see WHAT it adds the space as well and then AR now I want to start randomly at for example the fifth letter I'm gonna start from the fifth point onwards and I want the next seven one let's see let's execute RTH so what happens is if you count one two three four five six seven oh sorry five let's try it one more time my apologies so one two three four five so from five, fifth points or onward it's gonna give me the seven so one two three four five six seven so it's not giving me the e as well over there so this is A is the one two three four five six so I think what's happening is that it counts before A and then adds everything up so let's try this one more time am I going yep so it will start at fifth it will not after fifth it will start at fifth let's try this theory let's try this uh, yes Let's try this theory. We're gonna start at sixth. You see, for the this and this, I'm still getting R. So what's happening is, once starting at fifth, you can see there is space here. That's what I've noticed, and then that's why I started at sixth. And if I run it, be keep watching here what happens the a will shift slightly towards here you see now there is less space so what happening is it starts at that letter and that's your substring